Hello YouTube, I thought I'd do a, an update video on my antenna setup. Um, I've add about 10 more feet to it. If you look back at my other videos from last fall, last summer, the Redivis antenna would only go to about to here, so I added about 10 more feet. Um, I also added a GMRS, homemade GMRS uh, two-way radio antenna that I built. And I can use that to actually transmit on, or I can use it for receiving. Uh, the SWRs, after I added coax, is about 1.5, which is acceptable. And I'm going to zoom in here. The antenna on top is the Redivis High Gain, which I believe it's a 6 dBi gain. And I believe the model number is M006. It's from Redivis. And I had that hooked up. The cable is an R, uh, LMR400 is the cable for that one. This one right here, the, the one that I, I made that I'm using for my SDR, is using the lower quality cable. So that's going to have a little bit more wattage loss when I'm transmitting. So that's how this is. Let me see if I get this a little bit zoomed in here. There, now you can see a little bit better for that antenna and that one. Like I said, this is about 10 feet higher. If you remember, if you remember, it, it would only go about to there, if, if I remember right in the other videos. So it's about 10 feet higher now, and then this one's obviously about 10 feet lower. So that's how far I got them apart. So I also have that mounted onto a trailer here that um, if you saw none of my, any of my videos, this trailer I can hook up to a truck and pull it. And it's portable, I can have a portable repeater. There's a metal box where I can put all the gear that locks. I did add a ladder holder and extension. I can, or this extension ladder I can you know, raise up and down. This pole actually slides down, there's pins in it. I can pull the pins and then lower the pole. Um, the, Guide line is actually like a paracord type of um, rope. I forgot how many pounds it can handle quite a bit. So um, what I do is I can raise this ladder up. I can pull a pin, lower the section, and then the next section gets lowered, and I pull that pin, and then that's how I can get the antenna lowered. So that's how I do that. I'll put you on pause, and I'll show you how it is like inside. I'll be right back. Okay, coming in, I have the LMR400 that hooks to the Redivis antenna outside on top. That goes to the stock Redivis RT97 repeater. This one does not have the DB9 connector on it. The other cable, the lower quality cable, goes through the wall, and that hooks up to out here. Um, I can either fish it back through the wall and use it for another, uh, you know, radio or whatever else or I can have it come through the wall here and I can have it go through here and it hooks up to my uh, SDR right there um, that's how I have that um, I have the laptop hooked up here and then I have also hooked up to the laptop a two-way radio that's programmed to the repeater which is only a few feet away to here and I have that program to repeater frequency so that I can have internet access to that repeater so I can run software on here, whether it's Zello, whether it's the repeater software. And that's hooked up, as you can see here, through the um, USB dongle that I'm using. So that's how I have this handheld hooked up. I got it on low power. Obviously, I don't need a high power when it's like five feet away. But that's how I connect my... Redivis RT97 that does not have the DB9 connector to the internet, and it works pretty good. Um, I can also hook. I can also do it um, the uh, Zello and Gateway mode, so I don't have to use Vox if I wanted to. I kind of did all those videos on that, but that's how I do. I'm doing that now. Um, so that's how we have that set up. And like I said, here I can put shelving here if I need to. I also have a CAD5 cable which you can kind of see there sitting off to the side. So whatever I put back here for internet I can plug my cable in directly and not use the wireless. 
that's how my laptop is hooked up is it's plugged in directly to the CAD 5 cable so I don't have any lag so that's how I like to do that um, so that's how this is uh, set up that's how this repeater is set up and uh, that's how my antenna setup is at least for now eventually I'll probably build something more permanent in the same spot and get rid of the trailer um, but for now that's how I did that before this you know uh, it was getting to be end of fall so I quickly did that but I have some ideas I might build something uh, this summer you know we'll have to kind of see what time and all that but uh, but at any rate that's how I have it set up if you have any questions or comments please post them down below please subscribe thank you and have a good day